Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all Oriana in the dual lane and the best build to go for Oriana at the moment in the current meta. Now, if some of you remember quite some time ago, Oriana dual lane and also Oriana mid lane was a very, very popular pick and probably one of the most broken champions in the game with runes like Conqueror, with items like Landry's Tournament. And it's starting to slowly come back into the meta. And this got used a lot in the Wild Rift the league asia especially by edward gaming by the duo laner alone you can see his build on screen now and as you can see he uses conqueror he uses leandry's torment as the last item he uses the old Ceres embrace plus ludens echo build which i find very very interesting i thought this build was a little bit out of sync now oriana as a dual lane carry is not really that high of a priority especially when you have champions like zoe Karma, Ziggs, Varus, Corky, you know, some of these champions which are a lot stronger than Oriana at the moment in the dual lane. But Edwards Gaming alone did such a great job on Oriana this game. As you can see, he didn't get a lot of kills. He only he got no kills, one death and eight assists, but a lot of gold. And this is the thing with Oriana. You can get so much gold because you can wave clear so quickly. But the thing is with Oriana, it does come with some weaknesses. She does have very, very mid to late game scaling. So your early game is going to be very, very weak and you don't really offer too much in the early game. And also she doesn't do as much burst damage. She's more to do with consistent damage. She's more to do with poke damage as well and trying to do as much damage as possible with all of her abilities over a period of time. That's why Conqueror was a really, really good rune for Oriana. But now it's starting to slowly come back in again, even after the nurse of Conqueror all that time ago. Right, let's take a little bit of a deep dive look at this build for the first item we have archangel staff this makes oriana's early game even weaker than what i already mentioned most of the ap mages like to go for luna's echo as the first item and this gives them a huge massive power spike with archangel staff you don't really get the same power spike as you do with luna's echo you still get a lot of ability power you still get a lot of maximum mana and also ability haste um but the, the main the main positive and the main strength of Archangel Staff is you get to spam more abilities. You get to pretty much use your abilities whenever you want to and never have to worry about running running out of mana. And when you upgrade Archangel Staff into Ceres Embrace, you do get that lifeline passive shield, which when you drop below 35% health, you gain a shield equal to your current mana. So the more mana you have, the more shielding you're going to get, which will protect Oriana a lot, especially when it comes to team fights. Now, on top of that, you have Luna's Echo. This is still a very, very strong AP item. One of the strongest ap items in the game so you still have to somehow fit this into the build that's why they go for it as the second item you still get ap you still get maximum mana which again increases the damage of archangel staff and also you get ability haste this all the echo passive also helps you quite a lot gives you bonus damage and this also splashes to um, up to three by three nearby enemies so that means that you can use this to wave clear you can use this in team fights just a very very powerful item overall for the boots only in boots is a no-brainer you get a lot of ability haste and then you can upgrade this into stasis enchant stasis enchant is also very very strong protects you a lot against assassins and bruisers that might dive on top of you becoming invulnerable is just so nice for oriana because it gives her time to maybe use her abilities again when she comes out of stasis then we go to for kind of the two standard ability power items first one being death cap a lot of ability power 110 and increasing our overall ability power as well by 40 percent void star for the magic penetration percent magic penetration is very very important and also the 70 ability power and then as the last item it's a little bit interesting they go for leandry's torment as the last item now the reason why leandry's torment is starting to slowly make its way back into the meta again is because a lot of champions in the current meta are building warmogs especially supports a lot of junglers also building warmogs there's also a lot of maximum health health being built on dual lane uh, on um on barrel laners and also mid laners because there's a lot of bruisers at the moment in the current meta so the Leand leandry's tournament is slowly starting to become a stronger and stronger item because the meta is slowly shifting to enemies stacking a lot of maximum health and then going for an item like twin guard which will give them enough resistances so i think leandry's tournament is starting to become a very very popular item again obviously it doesn't give you a lot of maximum health but it does give you a lot of ability power and as it, as it mentions damaging abilities or empowered attacks and deal percentage of the enemy 
enemy's uh, maximum health as magic damage, as bonus magic damage over three seconds. So the more AP that you build, the stronger this item will become. That's why you want to build this kind of as a late game item in a way, mid or late game item, because the later you build this, the more damage the torment passive will do to enemy champions. Now, Conqueror is an interesting one. It used to be very, very popular a long, long time ago. If some of you remember, you gain adaptive four stacks when hitting the champion with separate attacks or abilities. And it stacks up to six times. And when these are fully stacked, you gain Omnivamp. So you gain a lot of ability power. You gain the Omnivamp as well, which will help you with your healing. But this wasn't really used as much recently. Aerie has been very, very strong on Orianna. And so has uh, Phase Rush because you get the extra movement speed and also the extra ability haste. But Conqueror is still a very, very strong room for Orianna. She can spam a lot of abilities because she has Archangel stuff. And when you spam abilities, all you need to do is hit them or hit the attacks or the abilities, and then you'll just stack up Conqueror. And if you get to fully stack Conqueror, when you're poking, you'll be healing. You'll be uh, dealing a lot of damage as well at the same time. So it still is a very, very strong rune for Orianna. <laughs> Now, again, we don't have the sub runes for these builds, for these Chinese builds, but I think Giant Slayer is great. Kind of the same reason as Leandri's Torment. A lot of champions are building bonus health at the moment, so Giant Slayer will help you deal bonus damage. Or you can also go for Gathering Storm because the AP version of Gathering Storm is very, very strong because it gives you insane amount of ability power as we get into the later stages of the game. As I mentioned already, Orianna is already a mid to late game scaling champion, so you don't really want to fight or do too much in the early game. So Gathering Storm is going to keep on stacking up and keep being stronger the further the game goes bone plate is still insanely strong as well very very strong rune to protect you a lot against any combo damage and for the last rune you have a few choices you can go for hunter genius if you want more ability haste if you want to spam your abilities more often or if you want a little bit more extra damage you can go for mana flow band which gives you a little bit of extra mana and that mana is then converted into ap damage because of our archangel star from our first item so any one of them two runes works completely fine i think we have enough mana already so i like to go for hunter genius <laughs> And then for our summoner spells, we go for Flash and we go for Ghost. Ghost has been very, very popular in the Chinese server and also very popular in Chinese pro play because you get a large burst of movement speed, which helps you a lot for kiting, helps you a lot with positioning. And especially with these dual lane carries and also AD carries, positioning is one of the most important factors. So being able to get the extra movement speed is really important but you can also go for nimbus cloak if you uh nimbus, you can also go for sorry exhaust as well and maybe go for like something like nimbus cloak if you feel like you need the extra movement speed so that's everything for the build i'm gonna head into a gameplay now where i tried out this build and honestly the results were absolutely amazing so enjoy take care and i'll see you in the next water video peace oh they're trio q oh that's not good I just realized that the Malphite, Master Yi, and Tristana are a trio Q. That means they're also going to have a trio Q, so I'm kind of worried. And I feel like their trio Q is going to be infinitely better than ours. Because this is my Smurf account. So I feel like their trio Q is just going to be infinitely better than ours. Oriana AP APC got played a few times in China. Got played by uh, EDG. Just kind of pog. I think it's as, it's as bad as what people think. The only thing is, is that it's very weak in early game. Like very, very weak early game. Like you at least need two or three items. For it to be useful. The thing is, Oriana's auto attacks are pretty strong in the early games. So you can kind of use that to bully in a way. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just using the auto attacks from Oriana, which is kind of strong in the early game. Yeah, nice. We're bullying them pretty hard, especially because they have uh, a Braum as well. But like, they can't really do anything when they have a Braum. Tristana dies to Darius, that is not a good sign. Nice bubble. Uh, 
Ah, oh, it was really nice. Really well played by my Nami. Of course, I left the flash. I think I'm just going to go back to basic because I have no money. Really nice, though. No Olaf flash. Master Yi, you should not be there, my friends. Master Yi, you should not be there. Okay, it's fine. He's able to escape. Wait, Zoe's there? What the hell? Zoe was in our jungle for some reason. No idea was why Zoe was in our jungle for, but... Okay, interesting. Okay, this is kind of good. There's no way. Master, you not have flash? Wait, Master, you had flash! Why did you just not use flash? If Master just uses flash, he gets a kill. Oh, God. Darius is not the champion that I want to get fed. Olaf's still mid lane. Ah, oh, it's a wide one HP. Guess we'll just go back for now. I was trying to wait for his shield to go down, but I guess it's, I guess I should have just kept on attacking him. If I kept on attacking him, then maybe I would have killed the Brom. It's kind of unlucky. Every single time they survive on like one HP. Every time. It's still going okay though. My like, Glenna face is still going really well. Nice, we got dragon now. Nice, okay. Mid lane also getting kills. Hello, Master Yi, you want to do this, buddy? <laughs> I'm actually really surprised we won the 2v2 though. I'm actually really, really surprised. I don't want to clear this way before I go back. It's kind of risky. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Oi, oi, oi. Zing! Thank you for the raid, buddy. Appreciate the support, Zin. Appreciate the raid. Thank you, thank you. actually kind of popped off for us got the extra movement speed in the end I, we, I don't think we can get this tower they already got top tower already so it doesn't really matter 
Nice, nice, nice. Well played, well played. Hey, the tourney is done, though. There's a game going on at the moment, but I'm not really too interested in it. I only really watched the first series. The first series was the interesting one to me. Motivating. Oh, popping off this game. Bubble into shockwave? Okay. Cheeky bubble into shockwave? Okay, Malphite comes to get the kill as well. Okay, Olaf's top lane. I don't know if we can get this tower or not. Yeah, I have a feeling we're not going to get this tower. It's okay though, we're doing really, really well this game. Bromku doesn't hit me, I kill all of them with my shockwave. No way, that's so unlucky. He just walked into the bubble. What did I just watch? Okay, Moshi walked into our... No, I'm so sad I died because the Bromku hit me. I was trying to stay close enough that I could use my ulti. That's so unlucky for me. So, so unlucky. It's okay though. I mean, it is what it is. We die, but it's okay. Yeah, Nami Oriana is actually kind of a good combo. I don't really use it that much, but I don't really play it that much. But it's actually a really good combo. Like you get the extra auto attack damage. Nami helps with the healing and everything as well. You can clear this wave and then go mid. I don't know why they're chasing me. Hey, what is this Olaf doing? What is that Olaf doing? Except for that one little misplay that I just made. This game's gone pretty well. This game has gone really, really well so far. So far, so good. Dragon's up soon as well. I probably should have go back. Should have gone back to base here. Um. Um. Okay. Oh. Okay. We zooming. We zooming. We zooming? We zooming? We zooming? Give it to me! Give it to me! We zooming? There's no fucking way, right? Come back here! Hey! This son of a bitch, man. Oh, now I'm dead. Ah, oh, this Olaf, man. Cringe. I would have got Penta. I would have got Penta, man. This is a fun game. Unlucky. Nearly Penta. Close to a Penta, but no cigar. 
Oh, this is kind of bad, no? Just go, just go, Malphite. Go, please. I... I entered so hard. I just entered so hard. The Malphite went too far away. My, I ulted myself. I just ulted myself. <laughs> oh my god. I just ulted myself like an absolute idiot. I didn't realize he went that far away. I'm 10, 1, and 13. What's going on? I'm popping off this game. Okay, we go back. We got our components for Void Staff. What is going on bot lane? I'm pretty sure they're dying bot lane now. Why are they fighting bot lane? Why are we fighting here? Oh, the bubble lands. Okay. Holy shit, I'm doing so much damage. My Tristana has no boots. Why does my Tristana have no boots? Oh, you know what the interesting thing is? They go Leandri's last item. Let's give it a try. We'll go Leandri's last item this game. Nice, they killed everyone. Okay, I think we win the game here. 15,000 gold. Holy moly. I think we probably win the game here. Oh, the bubble lands again. Should be able to win the game here, right? Oh, 
Nice! I should be able to end here. Auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Okay, bomb. Are we killing the bomb before we end? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. I tried to kill the bomb in the end. <laughs> nice. GG's. What a game. What a game. Insane gamers. Oh, my, of course, my thing disconnects right at the end. Typical. We'll see what my stats are in the end. Hello? Does my thing want to work? There we go. All my stats in the end. I got a quadra kill in the end. 43,000 damage. I'm happy with that. That's a pretty good game. GG's.